Carol Baskin of Tiger King fame has sued Netflix over the distribution of Tiger King season two, claiming footage contained in the second season violates the terms of the appearance agreements signed by her and her husband. Hi, James Pichitti, entertainment attorney and production counsel in Los Angeles. The lawsuit brought by Baskin uh, and her husband uh, against Netflix and the production company Royal Good Productions focuses on the appearance agreements signed by the Baskins in 2016 and 2018. The lawsuit claims that the appearance agreements were limited to one motion picture and with the 2018 appearance agreement only changing the title or potential title of the project. Now, an appearance agreement is a, a, a document necessary to secure the appropriate rights for someone's participation in a production. And it's a standard agreement used in documentary filmmaking. Now, independent filmmakers should take heed by the issues raised in this lawsuit because essentially any participant under similar circumstances could raise those same issues where there is a broader exploitation of a project than originally anticipated and the participant does not like how they are portrayed. Now, according to the complaint filed by the Baskins, the filmmakers had no rights to sequels, remakes, or derivative projects. And the Baskins further claimed that they were not paid for their participation in the project. They also claimed they did not sign location releases or materials releases, which are other agreements that are typically used in documentary filmmaking with location agreements, obviously related to the location where filming occurred. And materials releases has to do with materials that are provided to the filmmakers, which could be photos or documents or other materials. Now, both issues raised in, all the issues raised in this lawsuit highlight uh, the importance that documentary filmmakers use experienced production counsel in the production of their projects and involve production counsel as early as possible. Because not only does it appear that in this lawsuit that the agreements prepared were not thorough, comprehensive, or broad enough to anticipate a greater iteration or use of the footage. They also didn't include location agreements and materials releases. So these are issues that can be avoided if the proper agreements are prepared and used. Now, as in terms of the issue of being paid, that's something else that uh, documentary filmmakers should be aware of. And this also has to do with the proper preparation of agreements. Because for a contract to be valid and enforceable, there has to be something called consideration, which is a legal term essentially meaning something of value. Now, typically that's money. In a contract, one party pays money for another party to do something, give something, and in the case of the appearance release, the use of their image, their voice, and for their appearance in the project. However, in documentary films, it, it, it's not unusual for participants, uh, those who uh, appear who are interviewed to not be compensated. The consideration then is their public appearance and association with the production, but that needs to be expressly stated. The lesson for independent filmmakers from this lawsuit is that contracts matter and it's important to have experienced production counsel involved as early as possible in your project to avoid such issues. If you have any questions or if you have a project you wish to discuss, don't hesitate to contact us.